Congress, I believe it's important that you create a national law banning homosexual marriage. Homosexual marriages pose a threat to America's religious and family values. Recently, the battles for and against homosexual marriages have been growing in every state and even up to the Supreme Court. My opinion on uh, homosexual matters are, uh, I believe that, you know, living in America, you know, we have our uh, freedom of speech, you know, freedom to live where we want to live, uh, freedom to work. Um, as far as, you know, who we love, if it's male or female or same sex, uh, it's up to that person. Uh, I don't think it's, it's up to a group or, uh, or, or anything else. Uh, as far as my belief, uh, you know, we all know what the Bible, if we believe in the Bible, what the Bible states. Um, but in the end results, we have our own choice to who we love or who we fall in love with, if it's uh, the same sex or not. Um, if Congress approve it or pass it, um, so be it. You know, as long as, uh, as long as that person is happy. I spoken with Pastor Jay Young of Lovers Across Worship Center, and here's his own opinion about homosexual marriages in America. Politically, uh, I don't have an opinion because when you govern all of America, you have all types of people not just Christian people, and I think the problem with the political side of it is that everybody in America is not a Christian, okay? So I say I preference my remarks with that because if you're not a Christian, if you don't believe in God, then the principles in this Bible means nothing to you. So the, on the political side of it, you have, you have an America that is not just, we are not a Christian nation, so uh, politics has to govern all of America. It has to govern the Christian, it has to govern the Muslim, it has to govern the Buddhist, it has to govern all of America. Recently, the battles for and against homosexual marriages have been going in every state and even up to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court recently left for dead California's same-sex marriage ban, Proposition 8. But the question of gay and lesbian couple constitutional rights to marry remains very much alive. The uh, Supreme Court came down with two rulings. Uh, something extraordinary happened in California in 2005. Our legislature, both houses, the Senate and the Assembly, passed the uh, marriage equality bill. Only Massachusetts had uh, ma uh, marriage equality up to that time, and that came through the judicial route. So this was a historic event. All that was needed for that bill to become the law of the state was the governor's signature. The governor at that time was a famous actor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, we thought surely he would sign the bill because when he campaigned, he said, I come from Hollywood. I've worked with gays and lesbians. Some of my best friends are gays and lesbians. So we expected him to sign the bill. When he vetoed it, playing it, playing to his uh, right-wing Republican constituency, I was outraged. And that's when I came out and uh, to make my voice authentic to comment on that bill. But uh, uh, shortly thereafter, the uh, Supreme Court of the state of California came down with the ruling that marriage equality is constitutional. And that's when Brad and I got married. But right after that, Proposition uh, 8 came up, came and put a stop to uh, marriage equality. So that was a, a challenge all the way up to the Supreme Court of the United States. I sat down with Pastor Ilja Shaw of New Day Deliverance Holiness and Ministries in Beaumont, Texas, and here's his own opinion about homosexual marriages in America. When it comes down to homosexualities, um, I love people who they are as being a person. Um, but when it comes down to according to the Word of God, um, we know the Word lets us know about it being a sin. Uh, and of course, we don't uh, put sin in the category. Sin is sin. Uh, but now my spiritual perspective on homosexuality is not my perspective, but it is what the Bible says, you know. It's immoral. It's not the will of God. It goes against the nature of God's creation. God created man and woman. Uh, 
And there's no way that we can be a society without a man and a woman. Okay? Uh, that's what the scripture says in Romans when it talks about the natural use. Uh, the natural use of a man, the natural use of a woman is for them to come together and populate the earth. The DF study proves that the healthy development of children depend on them having a mom and a dad. Studies so show that opposite sex parenting gives children examples of both masculinity and femininity. And the interaction of these two types of sexes enables the child to grow up with a healthy and balanced view of life and relationships. I mean, it shouldn't be treated anything any way different. Um, you know, harsh and bad on even people bashing them, beating them, and even when I speak on it, I always make it clear to the people of God that I'm not bashing homosexuality or lesbianism. I'm not bashing it. Uh, sin is sin. Mm -hmm. Sin is sin. And, and that's what we have to understand, that it's not just homosexuals that we say is going to hell if they don't repent of their sins. You got liars, you got backbiters, you got gamblers, you got different ones. That, according to the word of God, uh, adulterers, fornicators, and stuff like that, that's doing things that's contrary to the word of God that will go to hell if they don't repent. That we always want to make that clear because a person can, can, can be in those sins and do those different things, but can repent and can go and be with God. So that's the most important thing here is that if a person repent of their sins. Mm -hmm. So we can't really look at them. And I think that we can, like I said, cast them aside and make them feel like that they're not a, a, a person. They are somebody, they are a person, they are a human being. I think the effect would be uh catastrophic for the family because no matter how uh, no matter how you look at it uh, kids do what they see back in a person's life most of them there if you deal with them and talk with them about it and you go back in their life you can find out where it where it happened at where where, where did this come about in their lives. Some have been molested. Some have different things that happen to them. Some have uh, 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 parents in their lives. When I pledge allegiance to the flag, I pledge allegiance to one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Indivis indivisible. We have divided the country into one third and two third. We are working hard to make it one nation under God in the Congress helped keep traditional families together by banning same-sex match. I'm Eddie Edwards, reporting for C-SPAN.